Kaylee's day. This has nothing to do with Cindy and I, and, and I'm not taking it away from anyone here. I know they're here to honor her, and it's for her birthday. She's six years old today. George, have you seen the plans for the memorial here for your granddaughter? I haven't seen anything at all. This is the first time I've been here in, I don't know how long. It's hard to come here. It's hard to come here. Understandably. But what do you think about a permanent memorial here? Would, would that help ease your coming here? Would you come here? I think if everything is done very tastefully, and it also brings awareness for other missing children. That's what this has to be about. It's, I mean, it's grand. It's going to gravitate with, with Kaylee for people to come here. But look at the other children who haven't come home yet. They need to come home. That was George Anthony just moments ago on Suburban Drive tonight because it's August 9th. It's Kaylee's birthday. Today is her sixth birthday. There she is, Grandma Cindy, Grandpa George, holding uh, purple balloons, which, of course, was uh, Kaylee's favorite color. Uh, anyone who's been following the trial knows that. And people paying their respects are also unveiling a, a new memorial uh, that is planned. It's a walkway for the area, and it's to bring awareness about other missing children, but also to pay tribute to this little girl who uh, was gone way too soon. We're taking your phone calls. Christine's in Oklahoma tonight. Good evening, Christine. Good evening, Vinny. How are you? Okay, your thoughts tonight, Christine? Well, you know, I think something so much more powerful is going to come out of this in such a wonderful way. There's just too many people who have been touched to their very core continuously by this little girl and what happened to her. And I want to just say happy birthday, Kaylee, and to let... Kaylee's family know that we love them too. We're praying for them too. And I just pray that all of those balloons reach heaven to her birthday party up there. And I appreciate the way you all have covered this. It just touches my heart. And I woke up this morning, looked at the date, and I realized immediately it was Kaylee's birthday. So there's just got to be something wonderful that's going to happen. Christine, thanks so much for the call. We do appreciate it. Today is Kaylee's sixth birthday. Uh, you can give us a call and, and, and with your thoughts tonight and whether or not you just want to wish a happy birthday or blessings to the family. Whatever's on your mind tonight, give us a call, 877-TELL-HLN is the number, 877-835-5456. Um, amazingly, and I don't know if people expected George and Cindy Anthony to be there tonight. I, I mean, we knew this was happening tonight, but uh, no one necessarily expected it. We haven't really seen them, have we? I mean, we know that they went away oh, jet for a little planes. bit, uh, but now we're back, and they live right around the corner there. Uh, Stacy Kaiser's with us, psychotherapist. Uh, Stacy, how? And this is—I mean, it's so close to where they lived, and then you've—that's where her remains were discarded, like garbage. I mean, anyone that's driven by there knows this. Sometimes people discard their garbage there. Old tires, you know, just junk because it's a, a, a road that no one really travels down. Um, what is that like for, for grandma and grandpa to live around the corner uh, from this site? It's going to be weighing very heavily on them. And it's one of those strange dilemmas where I don't think they can find comfort staying where they live, and I certainly think they wouldn't want to leave either. The experience of being There's so such close a tough spot. to where someone Stacy's going to stay with us. We got yeah. much more straight ahead. Non-lawyer paid spokesperson 